Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how to read the box and whiskers. Now, when you are given data, we had to put it in order and then we had got the lowest, the Q1, Q2, Q3 and we had plotted it on a box and whiskers. Now, when we do this, they would ask questions like, discuss how the graph is skewed. Now, if you look at the box, usually this is a fairly safe way of reading it where you see that the bigger box is on your right hand side. So what we'd say is that it is skewed to the right. Or another way to say it is that it is positively skewed. Now, sometimes the data can be very deceiving. 90% of the time, if you look at it the way I had just done it now, it would be correct. But if you want to be 100% certain, for it to be skewed to the right, the mean must be greater than the median. So, use your previous methods to calculate the mean. So, we've got 21, you can use your calculator or you can simply add it up and your answer for the mean is equal to 36,7. Now if you look at 36,7, we've got 35 here, it could be around here. 36,7 is around there. Now if you look, the mean is greater than the median because remember the median is your Q2. So it is obviously greater than the median. Now the other thing you need to look at is when the whiskers are extremely long then we call them outliners. What it does is it actually affects your data, it affects your average because it's pulling it down if it's too low, it's making your average go down. If you have an outliner that is too high then it pulls your average up. So when they ask you to comment on the data, number one you discuss that it is skewed to the right or it's positively skewed. Number two, you tell them that the mean is greater than the median. And number three, you always mention outliners. Now when the tail is very long, can you see those whiskers of this box? It's very long. Then you will say it has an outliner that is low and it is equal to 21. Let's do the next one. If you look at this one, now if you look, you can see the box tends to be bigger on the left hand side. So we can say that it is skewed to the left. But again, I encourage you to double check. Check what is the mean. Now, when the mean is less than the median, then it is skewed to the left. So, let's calculate the mean for the following one. Now, if you did the average, you will notice that you got an average of 45,8. Now, look how deceiving and devious this information is. If you look at 45,8, remember your Q2 was on 45. So it is around here, it's very close. So is it skewed to the left? When you have information like this, number one, they tend to mark you on the information that, that we've just given, that we tend to see that it's skewed to the left. But then you will say, but the mean is not less than the median, the mean is actually greater than the median. So this was not true. The mean is actually greater than the median. So what happens is you can say therefore it is actually skewed to the right. Be careful, very 
very often we find that the answer is so close that it's devious, it's looking devious. Most of the time it works, the bigger box wins. But now, we know that it is actually skewed to the right. However, the mean and the median are very close. So we comment on that and we say, but the mean and median are very close. And something affected our data. What affected our data? Look, we have a very long whisker. Now, the mean and the median is very close. But what had happened is, remember your outliners move your mean. But the mean and median is very close. So, what are we going to comment on that? If the mean and median is very close, the reason is why? The reason is the outliner. That outliner, which is a high outliner, increased our mean. It increased our mean. That is what it did. High outliners increase your mean, low outliners decrease your mean. So, the reason is the outliner increased the mean. Now, because the outliner actually brought up my mean, I still believe that the data is negatively skewed. So when you're looking at the data, you need to mention outliners. It is always a given mark that we have a high outliner. Next, you need to tell them that it's skewed to the left or negatively skewed. If by some reason the mean and the median prove differently, then you must say, but why is it proving differently? What is actually making the data look off? If we were to take out that outliner, if we were to take out just that one number, if we were to take out 80, our entire data would shift. So one outliner completely moves our data. These are the things they look. Is it skewed to the left or the right? Is the mean greater than the median? What happened? Why did the data shift? What do outliners do? Those are the three basic questions you can answer and you'd be able to read all your data. Thank you for watching.